Okay, this is a special series here since the film Black Panther came out. I'm doing these ancillary things that don't don't give anything away about the film, and then later on in the week I'll start getting specific about specific uh, observations about the film Black Panther uh, put out by Marvel Studios um, uh, recently. Um, I saw the film on uh, last Friday on the 15th when it came out here. And uh, well, right now I'm in Alice, but here in uh, Southern Africa, um, a place called East London has a movie theater called uh, Movies at Hemingway's. It's sort of an independent theater company. It used to be a part of a chain. Anyway, so that's where I saw it. Um, uh, but it's not about the film exactly. We're talking about things surrounding the film. I do have to make one correction. I think last time we did, on part two, I mentioned uh, something about seeing the poster of like Black Panther, the Black Panther Party for Self Defense poster. You know, I think I saw some of those, but I, I was wrong. I think I was wrong. I'm not really sure. I got to see the whole thing. But I, I was, was pointed out in one, some other commentary I saw, some other people said there was a picture of Public Enemy. But it looked like Black Panther Party. Same thing, Black Panther. Okay, leave it alone. Uh, <clears throat> like that. Well, the, 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 when, when, you first, when you first hear about Black Panther, uh, the, the, they always talk about this in a country, you know, Wakanda, that's isolated, and they have this precious mineral, vibranium. And they say vibranium is kind of an interesting name for a mineral, you know, so it came from a meteor and it gives you powers and all the rest of this stuff. And I got to thinking, was they, they brought this up, I don't know if vibranium was around, yeah, I guess 1966, um, then, you know, but when we're talking about these precious minerals of, of Africa, you know, because you do know that uh, without Africa, those minerals of Africa have, there would be no, no northern hemisphere. All these countries say you, you have a dung hole country or whatever have you. Well, you come to that dung hole country just to take the minerals out, like Walter Rodney's, how you have developed, uh, underdeveloped Africa kind of thing. Anyway, but the thing they talk about these days is a thing called coltan. You know, without coltan, no cell phones. You know, without coltan, no drones. No, you know, no, no whatever. You know, so, so they talk about coltan as as a as a mineral that's that not can't be done without. But also, you know, you have things like cobalt, same thing. But I was got to think about vibranium, vibranium, but and it's close to the, to the mineral uranium. So okay, well, a lot of some countries have uranium. I mean, World War II they talked about uranium, Canadian uranium. But what they didn't tell you, what you, was not known, very, very little known. And I, I, I found this out from a, um, a geology professor here on the University of, of uh, Fort Hare campus in Alice. And um, and uh, and Monty was telling me. He said, he said, well, he said, do you know uh, where the, the atomic bomb was made in the United States, right? He said, but do you know where they got the uranium from? I'm going like, oh, no, I don't know. They said, the Congo, the uranium that was used in the, in the atomic bomb of World War II, some of them try to say the Canadian uranium, no, no, it was the Congo. Now remember, this is worth noting. Uh, back when you know the continent was just a continent, you know, and then the, 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 there was this conference in, in Germany, Belgium, I think, in Belgium, where you had uh, King Leopold, that, that guy here, I think it was Bill, but wherever it was, they had this country. I'm like, oh here, hey, I'm wearing my, I'm wearing my real African shirt that's from way back, just before the country. So, so you know, Congo was like <laughs> right there. So, but uh, yeah, Congo was like right there, <laughs> big swath of the Congo. But. Uh, that uranium came from Congo. Think about that. Now, people talk, like I said, people talk about the um, coltan and, or you know a bunch of bauxite or a bunch of things. But you know, without uranium, there's no atomic bomb. So we, we've always, uh, you know, we, uh, we mean the, the, the continent is always rich in things. It's just that it gets exploited, uh, processed someplace else, and then can come back and come back to haunt us. Let me put it to haunt us. Now, this is the same kind of uh, thing. Now, for instance, India did this. Now, one of the things that uh, Mahatma Gandhi said, he said that, well, this doesn't make any sense. We have this, we make, we weave these cotton things, then the, the fabric goes over to the UK or wherever, and they, they make the suits out, then they sell us back the things. So they got rid of that colonial model, right? And they made the, they weave them. So you see the, those things of, of Mahatma Gandhi, you know, made, weaving the, the, the thread himself and, and weaving the, the fabric, whatever have you. But that's a direct result of saying, no, we're not going to, we're not going to make our suits, we're not going to import our suits from someplace else to, to come here. That's why you have that Nehru uh, uh, jacket, you know, that kind of thing. So uh, when Africa gets on that thing, it'll be, the, it'll be very interesting. That may well, you know, be more, more, more power. So, uh, so, so, so back to this ancillary thing. So it's, it, I think it's, it's, it's important uh, that when we have these conversations about uh, Wakanda 
and Africa understand the power that Africa is. I mean, it's just it's just undeniable. And so for folks to go run around here thinking like power, the, the Africa doesn't have any power, it just doesn't make any sense. So that's just to answer everything. I just want to talk a little bit of, of, um, about the, the it's not really about the film, but things surrounding the film and how things are, uh, how things actually happen. Uh, we'll have another, every, every day I'm doing another ancillary thing. I'm not going to really deal with the film for about, you know, maybe, maybe a few more days, okay? So enjoy Black Panther while you can. And uh, remember, these conversations you're supposed to be having has to do with the upliftment or the, or the, the reimagining of, uh, of, of, of black folks on this planet. That's all I have to say. This uh, thing for me, T from the past, I'm taking the train to Tibet. Wakanda.